What's up everybody? Scott67 here. So some of you may have seen my previous videos on the Grand Power Streebog SB9A3. And if you did, you know this gun has not run well. It's had failure to extract, failure to eject issues. So I contacted Global Ordnance, spoke to a guy named Joe. He suggested that I send it in due to an extractor problem. I told him if he would send it to me, I would gladly do it myself. Out of me personally, I don't want to send my gun in anywhere. I uh, just don't want to do it. Plus, I don't want to spend more money on something that's not working, especially if I can fix it myself. So that's what I did. I uh, exchanged or swapped out the extractor. I've got some video of that. It's kind of raw. I didn't have all the proper tools. I mean, I'm not a gunsmith. And I don't have a whole lot of tools, but I made you and I made it work. So I've got that on video for you. And then we're going to go to the range. And I can't wait for you to see the footage. So stick around. All right, guys. So to take the extractor out, there's this pin. That's right there. I drove it out. Right there. When you drive it out to a certain point, the firing pin will come out. It's right there. So that came out first. And that's just covering up the serial number in case you're wondering. And once you take the pin all the way out, this is the order in which the extractor was. And I've cleaned that right there. It was pretty dirty. But you can see where the malfunctions have marred it a little bit or some hard rubs. So let's go on to the next part. All right, before I move on, let me show you the old extractor. Just can't get a real good view of that up close. But to look at it, I don't see any dings, chips. That would make it not run. And here is the new one. It's a better view, I guess. All right, let's put this thing together. All right, just wanted to show you real quick. There's a spring for the firing pin. Put that better back in there. So that's the old part. This is the new part. Only thing I can really tell the difference in is the color of that right there, which I would assume that's called the plunger. Alright, so take the extractor. Slide that into place. Man, it's light. There we go. Then we're going to take this piece, slide it in right there. Hopefully you can see that. Next we're going to put the spring in. Come on lighting. And then the plunger. Okay, everything looks to be in place. Now the hard part. Alright, so I have to get that pushed in far enough that I can get the pin in. It would be real good to have a vise or another set of hands.
Oh boy. <laughs> in straighten this up the spring is in for the firing pin the firing pin has that loop on the top as you can see now to continue in because that's barely sticking out it has some spring to it that's where it needs to be everything looks like it did before and now to set the pin all right guys we got the extractor swapped out we are running 147 grain ammo and to hopefully make things run better, I've got the suppressor on it. Let's see how it goes. was the ammo that wasn't running well on the last video I did. Got 10 rounds. We have no suppressor. Let's see how it run.
super happy. All right, guys. So as you saw, a flawless day at the range. Woohoo! I have to say, there might not have been a big smile on my face, but I was definitely doing a happy dance inside. So if you're having issues like, like I did, I would suggest taking out the extractor and giving it a good clean. I did have a lot of buildup around that extractor. So give that a try before you give these guys a holler. But anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe. Y'all be safe and good shooting.